Hi, uh, this, uh, this is Father Brian Brooks, pastor of the Church of St. Benedict here in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Uh, today's, a, today's a reflection. Today is the memorial of St. Catherine of Siena. Uh, she died on this day, uh, April 29th, and we took my notes here, in the year uh, three, uh, sorry, the year 1380. Uh, she was a third order uh, Dominican. Uh, she was a, a laywoman, uh, was uh, the first uh, woman to be uh, declared a doctor, great theologian of the church. Uh, she came from a very uh, interesting background in that she was not uh, from a well-to-do family. She wasn't well-educated, but is her authenticity of her faith and her living her out her faith and her life in Christ that gave her so much influence. Uh, when she talked, people listened, and that including popes. Uh, as well. She told the popes who at that time were in exile in southern France and didn't have much problem being in southern France because French food, French wine, and so on. Uh, she said, you belong back in Rome, and they listened, and they returned. Uh, this is uh, a, a part of the dialogue, uh, uh, of the dialogue of Divine Providence by St. Catherine of Siena, uh, and this is in the today's Office of Readings for the Liturgy of the Hours, so I'd like to share it with you today. It talks about her burning love for Jesus. Her burning love also for the Holy Trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Eternal God, e eternal Trinity, you have made the blood of Christ so precious through his sharing in his divine nature. You are a mystery as deep as the sea. The more I search, the more I find, and the more I find, the more I search for you. But I can never be satisfied. What I receive will never leave me. Will, whatever I receive will, will ever leave me desiring more. When you fill my soul, I have an even greater hunger, and I grow more famished for your light. I desire above all to see you, the true light, as you really are. I have tasted and seen the depth of your mystery and the beauty of your creation with the light of my understanding. I have clothed myself with your likeness and have seen what I shall be. Eternal Father, you have given me a share in your power and the wisdom that Christ claims as his own, and your Holy Spirit have given me the desire to love you. You are, you are my creator, eternal Trinity, and I am your creature. You have made me a new creation in the blood of your Son, and I know that you are moved with love at the beauty of your creation, for you have enlightened me. Eternal Trinity, Godhead, mystery deep as the sea, you give me no greater gift than the gift of yourself. For you are a fire ever burning and ever consumed, with it, which itself consumes all selfish love that fills my being. Yes, you are a fire that takes away the coldness, illuminates the mind with its light, and causes me to know your truth. By this light, reflected as it were in a mirror, I recognize that you are the highest good, the one we can neither comprehend nor fathom. And I know that you are beauty and wisdom itself. The food of angels, you give yourself to man as man in the fire of your love. You are the garment that covers our nakedness, and in our hunger, you are our satisfying food. For you are sweetness, and in you there is no taste of bitterness, a triune God. So God bless you, and keep you safe.